entrance of the life lab and and Linda has all sorts of garden plants a lot of butterfly attracting plants that some of them she got from the greenhouse a lot of them they've had planted here as perennials um, just realize that this is the end of the season there's some cold snaps here but um, let's take a look we've got pentas beautiful beautiful flower um, the uh, uh, shape of the flower is very uh, convenient for the butterflies. We've got some salvias. Um, there's a little purple butterfly bush over here. Um, a lot of plants throughout this whole garden that attract the butterflies and not only attract the butterflies but become food source for the butterflies. There's so many different plants that um, people don't even realize that uh, the butterflies and caterpillars need to have to survive. So one of the things that the greenhouse has been providing is um, parcel, which is in the celery family. Parsley is in the celery family. And we have been providing parcel for uh, a couple years now and uh, the caterpillars are ravenous. We almost can't even keep up with the, the supply and demand. So um, we'll take a look right down here at the um, parcel. Um, and we just delivered a few pots on Friday um, for them. We've been going through, oh boy, 20 pots every few weeks. Um, so why don't we um, stop here, we'll take a look, see if we can get inside and, and talk to Linda and, and show you some of the caterpillars and cocoons and chrysalises. Okay, so here we are kind of in the, this is really the life lab, and this is where all of the caterpillars, the chrysalises, the cocoons for the moths um, are being um, set up, and um, then they'll release them into the wild. Here's some more of our parsley. We've got a number of different, um, looks to me like we've got some monarch butterflies and some viceroys. Um, they're all eating. These are, are called instars, and there's a number of stages. Um, of, of the different caterpillars as they um, begin to get older and eventually form the chrysalis or the cocoon. Um, so Linda's got them set up in all sorts of different boxes. We've got some in here um, actually on willow branches and there are some of the cocoons that are, um, are starting to form. As the season starts to end and the temperatures drop and cool weather drops, they, the caterpillars typically know that it's time for them to slow down. Um, so we'll probably be producing a little bit more parcel through September, even into October, and then things will end. So why don't we just take a quick walk around and take a, a, a look at, um, here we have the Cecropia moth. Here's the um, cocoon for that, and that actually, those have been feeding off of willow as well. So something that people, people could put in their gardens, in their outdoor gardens, as a food source for the caterpillars and the... Um, keeps them coming back to your yard besides just having annual flowers. Um, we've got some, um, looks like some viceroys in here and they're also on the willow. Um, they probably just emerged over the weekend. We've got some little guys on our, our parcel parsley again. There's a little um, egg on there and there are a number of little first instar caterpillars on, on that plant. Why don't we take a look at here's some of the end results. Look at them chewing away, eating, and just <laughs> exfoliating the parcel. They're very, very hungry. We've got a few more in here. A lot of these tubs, um, they have developed the whole design for um, controlling and keeping the, the caterpillars and butterflies safe. So very cool place. Um, something I think people don't even realize is happening in Toledo. This is an important, important environmental um, part of um, from part of the plant world. So um, here we've got some um, butterflies that emerged that have um, leaf curl. So they had um, sticky wings when they emerged and they're not really able to open up fully but they're taking care of them um, and we'll see what's going on. So um, here's our lunar moth chrysalises. Um, this is really really interesting. You can hear and, and feel movement in here. This is actually um, the uh, chrysalis or the actual caterpillar inside moving. Um, it's just part of the process. So um, very interesting. If you have school age kids, um, they probably will be taking a trip to the um, life lab, but um, definitely something people should in Toledo should be very, very proud of. So um, if you have some questions, maybe go on Lord's, Lord's website or come into the greenhouse and we can talk to you about some plants that are very, very good for caterpillars and, and uh, the butterflies and the, and the important butterflies and important moths in the area.